How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech. So let's say you're running iOS 15 beta on your iPhone, but you actually want to remove it. You actually want to delete it completely because you want to have your iPhone ready to install the official stable version of iOS 15. Lucky for you, the process is actually very, very simple and it doesn't matter if you're on a developer beta or a public beta and if you're on, if you're on beta 7, beta 8 or on the GM. It doesn't matter, in this video I'm going to teach you how to actually remove it and get your iPhone back to the stable version and have iOS 15, the final one, on your iPhone and get rid of any betas. Let's get started. As I said, the process is actually very, very simple. All you got to do is go to your settings and then you're going to scroll down to general and then scroll down a bit more and go to VPN and device management. Tap on that. And then you'll see right here, configuration profile. You're going to tap on that as well. And then as easy as that, you'll remove the profile. Right now, it'll ask you to actually type in your passcode. That's just lock screen passcode. So type it in and then hit done. And then as easy as that, it'll say remove once again, just to confirm. So remove it and then it's ready. It'll ask you to restart. It is required to restart and I do recommend you that you do it right now. So restart and then wait for it to restart. It'll just take a few seconds. It's a normal restart, so it shouldn't take too long. And then as you can see, it'll reboot automatically. So you're gonna need to type in your passcode once again, then tap okay, and you're good to go. You can even go back to your settings, scroll down, just to make sure, right? Scroll down to general, and then uh, VPN and device management, and you'll see that you don't have a beta profile anymore right here on your iPhone. Now, there's one thing that I want to explain that's super important and I want you, and I want you to understand right now. Uh, and a lot of people will ask me down here in the comment box if after doing that, they'll get the software update, the general software update for iOS 15. It'll depend. It'll depend a lot on when you're doing this. So if you're doing this right now, so I'm doing this on September the 10th, as you guys can see, or if you're doing this up until Apple's event, which will be on September 14th, yes, you will get a prompt right here to update to iOS 15 when Apple releases it and makes it available to the public, okay? And that's because if you're doing this on the next following days, 10, 11, 12, and 14th, you'll be on beta eight. But if you're doing this after Apple releases the official version of iOS 15, so if you do this on September uh, the 14th or 15th or 16th, you will probably most likely will be on iOS 15 GM, so the golden master version. And the GM version is already the final stable version of iOS 15, so we will not get the prompt, the notification to, to update to iOS 15 because you will already be on iOS 15. So that's, I want you to make this very clear. So if you're doing this, as I said, after Apple's event, and if you're already on the GM version, you will only get the notification to update to iOS 15.0.1. So the next version. So I just want to make this very clear. But after you do this, you will not get beta versions anymore, only stable versions. So do this, wait, and the next software update that you get will definitely for sure be a stable official version, not a beta version anymore. You're done. You have removed every beta of your software and just wait for the next version and you'll be just like everybody else on this stable final version, all right? So that's pretty much it. That's pretty much what I wanted to tell you. Uh, please don't forget to hit the like button down below if you enjoyed this video, if that's exactly what you were looking for. On top of that, also make sure to tap on the subscribe button and the little bell icon to get notified whenever I post a new video. And don't forget to tell me what you thought about it in the comment box. Tell me what you thought about this video, if it helped you, if you liked it. I really do always appreciate your feedback, right? So that's pretty much it, and I'll see you on my next video as usual. Bye-bye.